हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर सॉल्विंग ग्रेड नाइन मैथमेटिक्स सेकंड चैप्टर पॉलिनोमियल एनसीईआरटी सॉल्यूशन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस वी आर ऑलरेडी सॉल्व इट द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज गो एंड चेक इट नाउ हियर वी आर सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर एक्सरसाइज 2.2 क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 फोर्थ एग्जांपल द क्वेश्चन इज दैट फाइंड p of 0 p of 1 एंड p of 2 फॉर द ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉलिनोमियल्स हियर पॉलिनोमियल इज गिवन p of x is equals to x minus 1 into x plus 1 here we have given the factors so whenever it is there You can either there are two ways to solve this. Either you can directly put it value and get the answer, but it is always easy that solve this. So x minus one into x plus one. We have one identity a minus b into a plus b is what a square minus b square. So we will use that identity. First copy first variable uh, square that is x square minus one square. So x square minus one square will be what one square remains one. So it is simplest form is what x square minus one. Now to find p of zero, wherever it is the x, just replace by zero. So putting x equals to zero, p of zero is equal to what? Zero square minus one. So zero minus one is minus one, and the value of p of zero is what? Minus one. Highlight your answer. Definitely make a habit of that. Now to find p of one, putting x equals to one. So p of one, one square minus one. So one square is one. One minus one is zero, and therefore value of the p of one equals to zero. Quickly look out value of the p of two. Wherever it is as x, we just x replace x by the two. So p of two is equal to two square minus one. So as per the Bodomos rule, two square is four minus one. That is a three, and therefore p of t is two is equal to three, and that is the answer. So this is the easiest way. I'm always explain this by the easiest way to solve the every examples. If you want to learn more, please keep watching, subscribe the channel, and also play, press the bell icon. Also, uh, share with your friends and like the video. Thank you so much.